Welcome back to the channel. Now, for starters, if you guys want to see any of my gaming content and whatnot, I ask that you go subscribe to that. But here we have uh, Yellow Flash um, going over some Concord news. And honestly, outside of the obvious, you know, woke propaganda that this game has going on, I thought the game was pretty fun. I thought it was pretty fresh in terms of, you know, FPS, hero shooter type stuff. Uh, kind of gave me early Overwatch vibes. So I've been enjoying the game for what it is. But. A lot of people have not been, so we're going to check out what he has to say and what he found out. Sony is going to lose a lot of money on Concord. Yeah. The early access beta came and went. So, just so you know, there were two. So, last weekend, two weeks ago, there was a early access beta. And the, that was for people who bought the game. So, if you paid the 40 bucks for it, you got a code and you could go play it early. And that's meaningful because there was also an access for everybody, open access this weekend. But that, <laughs> the early access one was pathetic. There's a screenshot going around. I even saw an Asmin Gold video where I only saw like 26 people were playing it. That's really, really bad. Jesus and keep in mind, Christ. like, I, probably I know we're t we can all laugh at how bad this character looks, but graphically, the game looks like okay even look real quick this character specifically has been getting a lot of heat i understand it but the character itself is really fun she is really fun like she's one of the tanks honestly i think she is the tankier i think there's three tanks at the time yeah so there's there's three tanks in the game she's fun she's a fun character and i put that above everything else when i play a game politics aside you know the when you pick this character you know you're a tank you move slower you have a shield you have health, more health you can give your teammates shield and she carries a machine gun so i mean like it's a fun she has this move where she'll stomp on the ground it, it, she's a fun character right so i overlook all the politics and all that stuff because when it's said and done the character itself is fun and i have fun playing the game no the characters are all kind of gross and ugly and they have pronouns <laughs> like here's one right here look at this damn uh this is from july 12th the early access beta ran from july 12th through the 14th and based on steam db data from the game's peak concurrent players capped out at around 1124 around 10 p.m eastern standard and on july 12th from there it significantly dropped going down to 671 just 24 hours later by Sunday, the peak had fallen to 479. Yeah, look, this isn't good, right? It's Sony. Sony's name's attached to it. Like, that's a big studio. You know what I mean? And this is this is numbers that it has when the game is free. It ain't looking too good when, you know, they drop that price tag on it and make people have to go out of the way to spend 40 bucks on on the game. That's just, that's rough. 40 bucks, I mean, that's gas. That's a meal. That, that's a lot of stuff right now. In fact, much of the weekend saw the number of concurrent players drop below 700. And then this one has 15. I don't know what's going on there. Is that closed off for just the developers and it's still showing up? I don't know. Uh, but the game is not being received very well. It's not. not it's not. And I'll keep pausing. But a big issue I've been noticing is a lot of the people who've played it and are making videos on it, they've only said negative things. Um, outside of Overwatch players, I've noticed Overwatch players have had a pretty positive outlook on the game, and I think that should say volumes. Um, because I mean, when you play this game, you you immediately think, okay, this is like Overwatch, this is like Apex. So, the reaction that they have to the game, I think, should be more impactful than what you know the typical reaction channel or, or typical gamer would have, right? Regardless. I think that people definitely could have said more positive things about the game. It's just been straight negative. And now, that was, like I said, good. that was for pay access. So people bought the game, and that was it. Well, the open beta was a disaster. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's not even, that's a woman. Sorry. Sorry. Looks like an Apex Misgendered character Misgendered the character. Looks like a rogue company uh, character. Concord open beta fails the top 2500 concurrent players look at i guarantee you they're not he won't no one will talk about what this character does right this character runs around can double jump do flips throw knives kunai like 
lunge and strike. Like, it's a fun character. It's a very... She's hard. She's a hard character to play. She's a fun character. She feels rewarding when you play her. You can't even see your character model. So, like, it's like... And it's in beta. So, like, when the game comes out, who knows? She might be more polished when she has different skins. They could be better. But, like, when it comes down to it, game design, it's a unique fun character that is in no other game no other game do, does what she does so i don't i don't know in first day now why is that pathetic it's pathetic because this was open to anybody anybody could go download it and play it sony is about to lose i don't even know how much it costs but the game had to have been expensive this could be a this could be suicide squad levels of disaster yeah for Sony. Uh, here's the number right here. This is what we were seeing. So there was an all time peak of 2,388 users at this moment in time. Whenever this was screenshotted, free. Uh, yeah, hit 1,133, falling all the way down to 584. That's bad, dude. This, is... this shit is free, and they can only get 2.3K players. It's DOA. How much money is Sony going to lose on this? And this is basically DEI Overwatch. Uh, the robot. This is a robot. Has he, him pronouns. Here's a character. I mean, that's the one everyone laughs at. There's another one of the same size. Uh, this game. <sighs> oh, I'm about to make somebody mad with this one. But that's, listen, again, I put the funness of the game before everything, okay? Everybody's so mad that they keep adding these pronouns and all this bullshit into games, okay? But they, 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 they allow it to cloud their judgment on the game itself. They're very upset that the robot has pronouns. I get that. Me too. I'm not going to lie. It's a little weird that they, you know, give the robot pronouns. Whatever. And it DM me on here, right? Pretty big reaction. Like gaming reaction content creator saying nothing but negative positives. Let's see here. It was a free beta. Graphically looks nice in cutscenes. True. Negatives. Character movement feels sloppy and slow. That's not true. Maps feel lifeless and boring. It is a beta. I'll give them that. No character felt good. I'm assuming to play or something like that. That's not true. That's completely objective. That's completely opinionated. Several of the characters are unique. All of the characters. Well, not all of them, but most of them are unique. They bring something new that I've never experienced before, even playing Overwatch and Apex and Rogue Company and, you know, all the first-person shooters and, and whatnot that I've played. They feel unique. They're different. It's inviting. I like that. But we cannot keep allowing, like, these pronouns and stuff, it's not going to go away. Yes, you know, we've done what we've done at certain points in times and gotten games like Suicide Squad removed or whatever. But at the end of the day, like, people are still going to keep making these games and just play the game and enjoy the game for what it is. Like, the, pro the, the pronouns have nothing to do with anything with the game, so you can simply just ignore it. It's not a big deal. Now, would you buy in the game, technically be support supporting that that? ideology yes so i can understand from that perspective if you don't want to support it financially then yeah okay I, I can understand that but do not let that cloud your judgment on the game like oh my god they have pronouns in this game i'm not gonna the game shit i'm not gonna i'm not gonna invest my time into it because that's not true like there's something in this game that you'll be like oh that was kind of cool that was kind of fun is it worth 40 dollars probably not but i just hate seeing that these pronouns are really what's getting people turned away from the game because it's not that big of a factor in the game at all <laughs> what, what, he said what a flop. Just this weird thing going on. And it, there's more than just this, too, going on. This SNK versus Capcom SVC. Okay, yeah, so that's really all he had to say. He switched on reverse something else. But I'm in the video here. Listen, like, at the end of the day, this game was fun to me. It was new to me. It was unique to me. What's pissing me off is that people will get tired of games like overwatch or apex a company will come out with a new game to try and compete right they'll go switch to that game and then talk shit about it and then they'll go back to their overwatch their apex and then continue to be miserable and whatever the case may be put time like overwatch 
Overwatch is going through the shit right now. No game is perfect, but you guys still support that game, right? Get behind a new game and just give them time to work out their bugs and their kinks. It's in beta. The game hasn't even been released yet. We have no idea what they'll do when they hear all this feedback. We have no idea. They might drop the fucking price, drop the he, she, whatever. Like, we have no idea what they'll do. They're probably not going to, right? But when you get behind a game, support the game. Listen, look at Helldivers. Like, these game developers sometimes listen to their fan base and do what is asked of them. You know, so at the end of the day, pick a game that's fun and play the game because it's fun, right? The politics and all that stuff, you know, we can talk about that in a second, but it's just this game this game is dead on DOA, but that's not because of how it performs, it's because of the the controversy and, and the discussion behind it. Not enough people tried it out. It was free beta, yeah, but it just has not been getting any support from certain types of creators. And I mean that that's ultimately I think what's gonna kill that game. So thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Go subscribe to my gaming channel. That is where I do all my gaming and my streams and my in-depth game dive videos and reactions to gaming type news and stuff like that as well. But uh, regardless, you know, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. Like and comment your, th your thoughts down below. Comment down below if you played the game. Comment down if you liked it. Comment if you didn't. Um, just comment. Comment your thoughts on the character design. Just anything you have at all. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.